ocean liners are built for direct point-to-point -point crossings. Cruise ships are designed for pleasure voyages, so they're built differently. Here are five ways to tell the difference between an ocean liner and a cruise ship. I'm Chris Frame and I write maritime history books and lecture on board cruise ships about maritime history and the cruising industry. I also make YouTube videos about cruising and maritime history. If that sounds like the sort of thing you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button. Number one, ocean liners have a long bow. This helps them cut through the high waves and heavy seas of deep ocean voyages. The bow protects the superstructure from the force of the waves. Cruise ships are not expected to be exposed to these heavy waves as regularly, so they have a shorter bow. Number two, the bridge is where the captain and the officers drive the ship. Ocean liners usually have their bridge set up high, often on the top deck, protecting it from the rough weather often encountered. This also gives a better view during storms. Cruise ships are built for calmer weather, and they generally have their bridge a bit lower down, and often have lounges and cabins above the bridge. Number three, ocean liners are much faster than cruise ships. Liners must maintain a schedule of point-to-point -point crossings. If they're delayed mid-ocean, they need the extra speed to make up the lost time. Cruise ships can skip ports if there are delays, or reschedule voyages altogether. This is not possible for a liner mid-Atlantic. Some of the most famous ocean liners can even go backwards faster than the cruise ships can go forwards. Number four, liners have their lifeboats set higher up than cruise ships. The reason is, you guessed it, the weather. A lower lifeboat deck allows for better interior spaces, but increases the risk the lifeboats will be damaged during storms. Because liners often encounter storms, their lifeboat deck is set up high. And number five, liners are much stronger than cruise ships. The hull is reinforced to handle the heavy seas. On Queen Mary 2, for example, the steel is 15 millimeters thick and 28 millimeters at the bow, double that of a cruise ship. This is a little bit harder to see from the outside of the ship, but you can tell as you're passing through the doors when you look at the thickness of the steel. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. If you'd like to know more about the difference between ocean liners and cruise ships, you can check out my longer video in the link on the description or in the info card above. Thanks once again for watching and until next time, I hope to see you on board.